Hey guys, Candy here, and today I'm bringing you a 20 and 5 gameplay on SND Express. Uh, go a little bit nuts here, but uh, it's a pretty nice gameplay. Hope you guys enjoy it. And I'm also going to be talking about the history of Evo. Um, yep, so this video will probably hit the interwebs on my birthday which is the 10th of September, and I thought it would be a pretty nice touch to, to talk about some of my experiences so far in gaming and to deal a bit about the history of EVO and how we've got to the stage where we, we are right now and to thank some of the people who've helped us get this far. Um, yeah, so let's get into it. What happened was, when I purchased Modern Warfare 2, I had absolutely no idea about the, the multiplayer feature. I played it for the campaign. And only after I was done, I noticed the little play online button. So I clicked it. And then began the, the online journey that has pretty much changed my life. Um, yeah, so what happened was I started playing against internationals, never realized the little red bar on the, on the side of your connection screen meant you were playing with internationals. But one prestige and a 0.2 KD later, I realized something was up. So what I did was I went to Google and I searched for South African Call of Duty players and the what is now SA Gamer Forum popped up. Um, it was the old PS3 ZA, and I noticed a list of, of players, South African players, with their PSN IDs. So I started adding some, and naturally, you tend to start at the top of the list. The guys with the A's and the B's and the C's, all the way to K, were pretty much full. So then I started at the bottom, I thought, okay, let me start at the bottom here, and I started with Z, and those guys were full also. So then I said, okay, let me start with S. Then I go to S, and one of the names that were there was Swally. And funnily enough, as soon as I sent the invite, I think he was pretty much online playing. He accepted the invite, and yeah, so I started jamming a fair bit with uh, Swally. And he was a pretty cool oak. He taught me a lot. He he always wears his heart on his sleeve. No matter which clan he's with, he always gives it his, his all. And yeah, so... I started playing that was around about a January or late Jan maybe early Feb and then around about March of the, the same year this is 2010 now uh, back in the Modern Warfare 2 era uh, yeah he said he'll speak to the other Gandalf which coincidentally like we never knew each other and it was like highly ironic that we both had the the same names although he was Gandalf 81 I was Gandalf 04 so from then I was known as mini G and he was big G and yeah so that's that's how I got into Evo and uh, yeah so from then it's pretty much the first clan I'm, I was in and it's definitely gonna be the last clan I'm in on PlayStation for sure um, yeah so so then we started playing and I, I actually went into our forum on SA Gamer just to pull out some stats. I see the first the first post ever in, in our clan section of the forum was on the 3rd of September 2009 and it was around guys talking about clan matches. Guys like Rudy and Naza and Drama who were in the old Evo Red and then guys like Swali and Gandalf81 and Azure, Defcon, all those guys were in Evo Blue and yeah so that was that was way back when. So, first clan match, March 11th, 2010, against Legacy. Oh my goodness, the Oaks, these were the days when noob tubes were allowed in clan matches, and Oaks went nuts, quite literally nuts. So, pretty hair-raising experience, but I loved it so much that it just kept going. Then around about April that year, we were rocked when some of the senior guys in our team decided, you know what, they need to change focus going to change clans etc etc you know how these things go so they left leaving a huge huge a hole in our in our team's attack and you know a lot of guys got tired wanted to give up gaming etc etc but I just couldn't sit back and let that happen so I put in a lot of effort between March and around about September that year went out on a full on recruiting drive 
recruited guys such as Zuma, Camille, Relinquished, David Wayne, Mr. Hockey, and a whole, whole bunch of other guys. Guys who added a tremendous amount of value to our clan, and also a team that went on to take the UGB final, and still to my mind, one of the pretty much the best EVO teams there was in the, the UGB final. I mean, this was the days before competitive gaming, before, you know, massive YouTube strats, that, that type of thing. So, to my mind, these guys were way ahead of the curve. And yeah, it was pretty much, it was pretty much a fun time to be in EVO. It was excellent. And then, from the Modern Warfare 2 era came Black Ops 1, which locals played for about three months. And then we figured we couldn't play much longer because you needed a pretty strong line to be able to host. And at that stage, there were probably only like two guys that had 10 megs in the country, so we were pretty much screwed and everyone went back to playing Modern Warfare 2, which we loved. Loved that game to bits. Uh, still, in my eyes, the, the best, the best uh, game out there, or Call of Duty that was, up until maybe now Black Ops 2. And then we went over to Black Ops 1 for a while and came back to Modern Warfare 2, just looking at the score here, 9 and 2 at this stage, from 2 nil down to 3 2 up. So doing pretty well, Replumbers 1 for 5, getting shot on. Um, <laughs> yeah, well, you know, online warriors always have my love. Anyways, so yeah, so here, we will fail with the snipe here, but... Old boy picks up a kill at the bottom there. So I pick up, which is patience pays off there. So yeah, then we we moved on to uh, back to Modern Warfare 2, which we played for another year. Love love that game. Can't get enough of that game. And then Modern Warfare 3 came out, and Modern Warfare 3 was pretty much pretty much where we struggled a bit at the start and. Then a little guy by the name of Keldon Bartlett joined us, and my goodness, from pretty much all the all the recruits that we've had over the years, the thing I like most about Keldon is his humility. He is extremely, extremely talented, but he's humble. He's always willing to learn. He never thinks he's the best player, even though he at some times is just generally scary. He's always willing to learn, and I think that's something a lot of guys can learn from, especially the younger guys now starting off. Um, if you want a role model, if you want somebody to learn from, Keldon, watch his style of play, he's extremely, extremely smart, and you can always rely on him. He's not just going to do something stupid and get himself killed, uh, he always puts the team first. That's that's pretty much the thing, and that's been his style, no matter which team he's with. Now he's busy dominating uh, the Xbox and PS3 scene with Adept. And yeah, he, he's just a seriously, seriously talented player. So he led Evo K to the Telcom Do Gaming League uh, final. That uh, well, you know, of all the teams in that in that Do Gaming League, I think Evo K wouldn't have been where they were had it not been for Dice. A lot of people don't know this, but uh, Evo K were practically eliminated from that tournament. They had finished all their games and. As it stood on the log, they were pretty much out. All Lost had to do was get like one more point, literally one more map, and they would be through. But as luck would have it, a little team by the name of Dice, well, not really little, but I mean, these guys were seriously on their day. They can whitewash the best teams, but sometimes they're just not very consistent. So yeah, so Dice went and hammered Fear. They gave them a whitewash. And then they, uh, then they played uh, Lost and absolutely destroyed Lost, sending Evo K through as runners-up in that group into the Do Gaming League knockouts, which uh, three or four days later, I mean, nobody, like absolutely nobody could believe. I mean, the guys were so downhearted after they had lost their last game, and then DICE goes and pulls off an absolute miracle and yeah, well, pretty much Evo K went on to win that that Do Gaming League, and yeah, that was a pretty pretty successful story. I like how some wit behind the year year youngsters came up with stories like, ah, oh, Evo, you're changing your clan structure because you know you want to compete with other guys. Meantime, Evo was always a, a two-team clan since the time I, I started playing. It's just 
at times we, we sort of to refocus and re-strategize. We go back to one team just to solidify and get your core of players right. And then you build from there because it's nothing worse than, than building on a foundation that's, that's not stable, uh, whether it's a house, whether whatever it is. You need to make sure your foundation's stable before you start building or rebuilding. And as you can see here, we are 3-5 down, pretty much close to elimination. Um, one guy left, Slammer, someone picks him up, and I take the, the defuse. And we go on to take this round, and 4-5. Another, another huge comeback here from 5-3 like down, we managed to pull it massively. As you see the scoreboard there, I'm sitting on 14-5. and five. And yeah, so that was the Modern Warfare 3 days. Then, once Modern Warfare 3 ended, we came the, the Black Ops 2, 2 era. And uh, yeah, I think the person who des deserves a lot of credit in um, the Black Ops 2 years is Justin uh, Evo J, or he is now on, uh, I'm not sure his gamer tag on Xbox, but he's on Raised Gaming. I mean, he, he put in a massive amount of work there with, with Evo Red, and yeah, it paid off. The, the, the guys made the, the final. Unfortunately, they couldn't, they couldn't close it off, but I mean, we were all massively proud of them. Uh, in such a short space of time, guys like Blade, you know, just came through the ranks, absolutely dominating the, the scene, his accuracy unparalleled, and here you see yeah, a nice double here, just the patience pays off. I kind of went for the opposite angle, I could hear them on the ramp there, so I just waited and because we're under no pressure, I don't have to force the action here, just wait for it, wait for it, and yeah, so it's 5-5, five, five, tying up the game from what was like an unlikely position, sitting at 18-5 and five now, and we go into the final round, so yeah, so that's, that's a bit of our history. Uh, where we've come from and I'd like to thank everybody who's been in EVO. I mean we've, we've resulted in a number of clans spawning like guys like RSS, Megahertz, you know, like guys like that and whoever's been in EVO, you've, you've contributed a tremendous amount and for that we, we are eternally grateful. Um, not much more I can say, I wish I could name you guys out individually but there's just too many guys to, to mention but just know if you were in EVO at any stage uh, we really, really appreciate your contribution, and we've grown a lot because of you. Uh, nobody achieves anything by themselves. What you do, you achieve as a team, and we a nice night there. And yeah, so thanks very much, guys. It's it's really been a pleasure. Um, these past three and a half years have meant a lot to me. I know it's meant a hell of a lot to you guys as well. And pick up a nice final kill there. Get an epic. That, that was my 20th kill, 20 and 5, 0 plants, 3 diffuses, so it's a nice objective gameplay. But yeah, on behalf of EVO, I'd like to thank you guys, and remember, keep evolving and add value. No matter where you are, which clan you're in, whether it's just smiling at a random person on the street, add value in someone's life, and it'll come back to you. Thanks guys, bye.